Hey everybody, this is JD, and uh, I want to do a video about GPSs. In particular, Copilot and Ram McNally. Um, I've been running them two side by side for a while, and I am a Copilot guy. Um, a lot of people talk a lot of crap about Copilot, and I think it's just because they don't know any better. They haven't had it, they haven't used it, they don't know anything about it. So, I wanted to make a video on it. Um, to try and put it out there, so that way people can have a little bit better idea on the two, because Copilot's, I don't think, is as well known. And, um, anyways, I've been out here, I've been, I'm a rookie. Uh, I've been driving for about a year and a half. And, uh, I got Copilot when I first started. And, with the tablet, I got a 7 inch Galaxy Tab 2, that and then the tablet, it was about the same price as a regular truck GPS when I first started. Uh, about 5 months ago, my tablet crashed, and this is one side, or well, the tablet didn't, but the Copilot did And this is the one side effect of Copilot. Uh, Copilot, you get it, you want to get a tablet that has a lot of storage. Um, when I first got it, you could not store the maps on the external, uh, memory card. Only in, on the internal, uh, internal tablet memory. So, I, you couldn't really har hardly install anything on it. But finally, with the updates and stuff like that, it got to where it's too big. And I was running out of storage and the tablet wasn't functioning properly and everything. So, it, it crashed on me. When that happened... I was like, well, I need a real truck GPS, something I know won't fail on me. So, I debated about Garmin and Ram McNally. Well, I decided with Ram McNally. And, uh, I'll just say right now, Ram McNally might make Atlas, and, uh, a lot of truckers use the Atlas and everything, which is fine. I mean, I resort to it when I have to. But they don't know how to put that onto a GPS, evidently. Um... It, uh, it's just, I don't know, I, it's got a lot of issues. I'll put it to you like this. I've had Copilot for a year and a half, and in that year and a half, it has tried to screw me two, maybe three times. And now I did say try, because with any technology, you still have to be smart and uh, use common sense. Read your signs and stuff. I mean, you know, it might try to tell you to go somewhere and you shouldn't go. Well, Copilot's done that twice, or maybe three times. Ram McNally, I've had it for five months, and it's already tried to screw me at least a half a dozen times. So, I think that in itself is enough to tell you just that makes Copilot better than Ram McNally. But, I want to go over the features and, I guess, some options and, you know, different things. So, I'm starting off with both of them off. I'm going to turn the Ram McNally on. you got to hold it down a second. I'm going to turn my tablet on. I'm going to do my little thing here. Alright. So I got my code in. Ram McNally is booting up. I'm going to start my Copilot. Now a Copilot, if you have DriveWise installed, it automatically starts DriveWise for you. And look at that. Copilot's ready to go. Ram McNally's still booting. Alright. And then... There's DriveWise icon. Alright. So, I started on my other video on doing a route, which I was having issues with my phone because of no memory card and running out of storage, blah, blah, blah. But, I forgot to go over the features and stuff first. So, Ram and Alley just now booted up. So, there's the difference already. Tablet and Copilot is faster. And then, Ram and Alley, you always have to hit the freaking accept button. Sorry, I'm trying to look through my phone here. Alright. So that gets you to the main menu. Here you have uh, either no destination or the main menu destination. We want to go to the main menu. That way we're kind of starting off in the same place. Now this will start you off on the go-to section. Now one thing I want to go ahead and go over is, I guess, some um, features. So let's see here. Go to, let's go to, uh, let's start off with route. All right, truck routing profile. So we're gonna go to truck routing profile. And 
let me tell you, Copilot has tons more uh, features and options and settings than Ram McDowell ever dreams of, I guess. Um, now, granted, Copilot, it's got some issues of its own, but it's still, their issues with as good as they as good as Copilot routes and everything still, in my opinion, just, it, it beats Ram McDowell hands down. So, anyways, so right here on the truck routing profile, and I can't get my phone to focus good. Anything on the lens? Let's see. Alright, so anyways, truck routing profile. You can uh, change profiles or add a profile. Uh, for the most part, I keep mine on the same. Um, you got practical and shortest on here. And on Copilot, you can do practical, which, in my opinion, should be uh, the fastest, like, time-wise. And then shorter should be the shortest mileage wise. Well, it's not always that case, but anyways, I'll leave mine on practical. Enable active routes. That's a new uh, something new that just came out on this last version. And uh, I haven't figured that out yet. But you can put in here your truck dimensions, your hazmat route routing that did yeah. Hazmat routing, which you have, you know, most of your hazmats there. And like I said, most of the time I leave mine on none. And then you got your display restrictions. My, uh, he's got, oh, hang on, it changed on me. I almost always have mine always on. Just cause that way I can see it. The one thing about Copilot and Ram McNally, Ram McNally, uh, when it comes to the, uh, point of interest, I like better because it actually displays the logos and stuff. So that way, if you're looking at the, if you happen to be looking at the map, you can kind of see what that is. Copilot it just shows like a little circle with the truck. And you have to actually click on it to find out what it is. So, there's uh, one one against uh, Copilot and one for Ram now and there. Still ain't worth it to me. Anyways. Um, so then you have like, uh, let's see, display restrictions. Oh, never mind. I was on the wrong one. That's why I was on. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I don't typically like making videos or anything or whatever toll roads you can do use avoid or not use whatever let's see what they are yeah always avoid uh, avoid if possible and use and then you got toll roads uh, no, no. custom roads and restrictions excuse me now this right here I don't mess with the speed limits and the reason why is because it overestimates, uh, right now, the way it's set up from the factory default setting, is it overestimates the time. And I kind of like that, because uh, if it's someplace new that I don't know where I'm going, I'd rather have a little bit of extra time to uh, get to the destination than to be late. And, uh, I mean, you know, some guys say, you know, you look at your map and kind of figure it up or whatever. Uh, sometimes I might look on Google Maps and add 30 minutes to an hour to it, you know, um, something like that. But anyways, I'll leave that alone. The only thing I change on here is you have freeways, divided highways, primary roads, secondary roads, local streets. Local streets, I just have a void. And, crap. And this right here is what you don't want to mess with is the actual speed limits. Because that will impact your ETAs. Alright, so, I'm going to go to their freeway preferences. you got strongly avoid, avoid, neutral, favor, and strongly favor. And you can put on there what you really like. And, of course, if you stay to the highways all the time, you ain't going to make a whole lot of money. you got to get off the main interstates. Uh, you know, some, second, some high, uh, main highways and divided roads and stuff, they still aren't bad to travel on. So, I have mine as favor. And then divided highways, I have as favor, and it's the same thing through all of them. Primary roads, I have neutral. Secondary roads, I have neutral. Local streets, I have avoid. And you can go, like I showed you a minute ago, which we'll do right here. You can do strongly avoid as well. Me, I just do avoid because some of the local streets I've, <laughs> I've been on, they, I don't see why they even allow trucks on them. Uh, some of the hairpin turns and stuff. I mean, you gotta 
uh, it's just really tight. So I try to avoid all the local small downtown areas. So there's that. Now we're going to go back here to the truck. All right. So we've got the toll roads, custom roads and speeds, blah, blah, blah. This part here, I'm not sure about the national network and 53-foot trailer override restrictions and all that. I just kind of left that alone. So that's your truck routing profiles. Let me go back to the menu. And then uh, preferences over on Ram McNally. Sorry, I'm trying to charge the phone to you because this is my old phone, my original smartphone, and this battery's dead. All right, so right here you got your general route and mount. Vehicle type, truck, you know, Copilot has that to you. You can change it from uh, truck, car, bicycle, or walking. You got your time zone, team driving, autom uh, your map color, your brightness. Uh, driver status, which is the main, uh, hang on a minute, let's see if I can pull this window up so these trucks are, won't be so loud now. You gotta have a little bit of air. Um, you can know it is always loaded, which I always do, because, so I just, that way, if I am empty and I ain't gotta worry about, you know, having to forget and go back to loaded. This one... Ram McNally does have a feature on it to where you can do it to where it asks you every time. I just don't. Mainly because I don't use Ram McNally hardly anything anymore. So, you got that. You got, uh, da -da 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 -da. yeah, that is just general kind of stuff. Okay, so let's go to route. And you notice it is a little bit slow too. And you got the truck ETA. Now, over here, which is why I was showing you about the speed limits and stuff, that adjusts your ETA. That's why I don't mess with it. Here, you just have these four things, and, uh, you know, ETA is okay, which is standard, factory, default, whatever. And you can knock it down one, or you increase it a couple more times. I'll just leave it alone. Recalculation, auto, whatever. And then here, route. Fastest route. I don't know why I haven't tried to use it, because it don't ever work. I have preferred free race. Alright, so... I've tried doing this before with um, allow all, and it puts me on some of them little bitty downtown freaking just, I mean, you have to get like 10 cars to move out the way to make your left turn or something, or even your right turn. So I quit use, uh, using the allow all, kind of like why I, I use to avoid the local roads, uh, their streets on that one. So, instead of avoiding it and avoid small roads, and I did do the uh, avoid small roads, and it takes me even more out of the way than the prefer freeway. Um, with the way it's set up now, and every combination I can get this to, to do, it almost always takes you way out of the way, and or it'll put you on them little bitty roads where you got to get 10 cars to move out your way to make a turn. So... And most of the time, I can find I can get away around that area, and it might cost me 10 minutes. And for me, having to go through them areas where you got to do a couple of them tight turns, 10 minutes ain't none. So, and then you got your tollways, U-turns, ferry, take, yeah, 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 all this other crap, tunnels, junction view. Okay, you can see that up to a mile. Map. This one here, the thing I don't like about the map is you either have it as off on auto scale, on street scale, and city scale. The auto scale, when you're uh, like in between cities or you've still got a ways to go, it shows like kind of like the main map, it shows you like wherever you're at, and then it shows like your route and it shows the finish line just about. And, um, I don't know if you like that or not. I kind of do, and I kind of don't. And then, but, like me, and Copilot, it does city scale, or street scale. Oh, uh, they got another one on here. I, did, I think they added that recently, county scale. But, uh, the street scale, it actually shows you, you know, as you're traveling. Which is what I prefer. Because I like to look at, you know, I can see the, uh, exit ramps and all ramps and stuff. And if I need to jump off real quick just to pull on the side of the ramp or something... I can see if it's going to be an easy 
on off because you know some of them's got the, uh, the clover leaf and stuff like that. You got POI icons, which uh, I leave off because those are automotive, and you can pick whichever ones. Truck, I have on, of course. And then address books, same thing over here on Copilot. I do the same thing with my favorites and stuff, have them on. So there's that. Now, truck tools. You got your truck info in here. And you got your hazmat, which what kind of hazmat they got on here. Eh, so that's similar to Copilot. And then it's got your empty and your loaded weights. And I never do loaded, but me, I average about 33,000 when I'm empty. And, um, anyways, it's got your custom heights and stuff. So, your trailer, yeah, your number of axles, blah, blah, blah. And then you got your timers, mileage, fuel trails, and stuff like that. Warnings. This is one thing I do kind of like about, uh, Ram McNally. There's a few little warnings, which, eh, sometimes it comes in helpful. The curve warnings and the hill warnings, <laughs> a lot of times it don't give you a warning when it probably should. I mean, if you're a new driver, you're not, you're not used to, you know, how fast you need to go or something, do not rely on that. Do not expect it to come up. Because um, a lot of times it'll tell you, and really it's not that big of a deal, and a lot of times it won't tell you, and you need to slow down. I've gotten, uh, I've been pretty close a couple of times when I first started driving and stuff, and when I got the Remy now, that was one of the things I was like, oh, it'll give me warnings for areas I don't know. No. I found out the hard way, so I quit counting on it. You got your engine brake, your narrow road warnings, and then, of course, your hours and stuff that you can do as far as your settings. Speed limit display. All right, that's another thing. Ram McNally. This is one of the things I like about Ram McNally versus Copilot. Uh, Copilot does not display your speed limit. You can use one of your info uh, bars, which is only two, just two, to uh, select different options, and one of them is your cur your traveling speed. But it don't do it on the map. The only time it does it on the map is if Copilot, which hardly, which don't have the speed limit posted most of the time, if you're going over to your set uh, speed limit speed. So if you if the speed limit's 55 and it has it on the map, and you're doing like I have mine set for five over. Once I hit 61, then it will show my current speed under the speed limit. But that's the only way to do it. Unless you do the info uh, section, which I don't like to do because I like it for other stuff. But, Van McNally, it'll show you pretty much the speed limit of pretty much wherever you go and how fast you're going. So, that's the one thing I do like about Ram McNally. Let's see here, state border alert, travel booth alert, yeah, so, and the way station, you know, that's kind of cool, because so far the way stations has been right on, a few times it'll show some that have been closed for years, so, you know, whatever, your speed, and see, like right here, I'm, uh, here's how you can adjust your speed limit on here, which, uh, I'm not sure how far up this goes, whatever, but, on this one I have it set to 10, because, uh eh, if I'm going over 10, I definitely need to slow down, in my opinion. Uh, quick planner, that's, uh, I don't know. Road Atlas, yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Go back, so you've got your truck tools, preferences, yeah, there's not a whole lot to it. Choose destination, so let's go ahead and do this. Choose destination, and I'm going to go home. Right now I'm in Kingsport, which is my hometown, my where I started out at, my uh, original terminal at Tidewater. Uh, so, I want to go to History. And I'm going to go down to Spartanburg. To Tidewater Cowpens. As you see, when I do that, this is what comes up. You got one little place right there, which is where my terminal is, down there. And then you got begin new route, compare routes, and save the address book. That's it. Over here. Let's go back to route. Let's go back to yeah, my places. And I'm gonna go to work, which is my home terminal back in Calpan, Spartanburg, whatever you want to call it. Now, that up there, when you get done, it takes just a second to do that out there. You have your list of directions, you have your time, your distance, your ETA, and you got your map, 
and all you do is click on a place without a, a road and your info bar there goes away and you can actually see your route now here's one of the biggest things I love about Copilot alternate so if I don't like that route I have three options to choose from and let's see if I can get this thing to come on focus 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 ah, this camera sucks but anyways I don't know if you can see this. It says uh, your current route, I-26, I-85. It gives you basic. It don't, it don't give you every single thing. Then you have 153 miles, 2 hours and 52 minutes. And I am connected to Wi-Fi. So it says with traffic. And I do have traffic service on, on both of these. And then I got alternate 1, I-26, US-25, 154 miles, 3 hours and 17 minutes. Alternate 2. North Carolina 181, North Carolina 18, 167 miles, 8 hours and 24 minutes. So, those are your options, and they're color-coded. So you can see green, which is the one that's currently on. Blue, there's not much difference. I think it's just down... Uh, I can't really tell what the difference is with blue, really. Oh, taking 25 down to... Uh, once I get into South Carolina and there in, uh, around Spartanburg area, it's trying to get me on 25. And then purple, you can see that one. So you can kind of see the outlines of them, uh, but a lot of times if there's if there's uh, if the blue one had a good bit of difference, you'd see the blue line varying off of one of these or something. But anyways, you can also see like nearby roads and stuff. And again, I apologize for my uh, camera not focusing. Good. And you saw how fast I calculated. Now here, begin new route. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do compare routes. So I did compare routes, and we're waiting. And we're waiting. There we go. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. Now we're on the second round. There we go. All right. So this co-pilot had all three of them already picked out and everything way before Ram McNally even gets one route calculated. And looky there at the alternates. It gives you two alternates. It gives you the main one, which is 154 miles, 2 hours and 52 minutes. And then 293 miles, 4 hours and 57 minutes. Nowhere's near or even close. I mean, it's like, come on. This right here is what I really like about Ram McNally. Is it shows like the rest areas, the scales, you know, stuff like that. And, it, and like uh, certain situations, it, it when it shows the um, uh, points of interest, it'll show like, the symbol so you'll get like a Walmart symbol or a pilot symbol or a TA symbol or whatever so you can actually identify what it is so that's the good thing about copilot I mean about Ram and Alley over copilot but not the routing service so 154 and 153 and 154 so eh, that one is kind of about the same but still their second route 293 miles versus the longest one 153 154 167 that was 8 hours and 24 minutes, so yeah, that's way off. That was 4 hours and 57 minutes. Really, this is about a 3-hour drive. Alright, so I take, on a co-pilot, this one. And if you want to change, you just tap it, and then it changes it over to that route, which now it's changed over to blue. Alright, so I'm going to go back to the original, because that's what I do. And then once I do that, I just I can either hit the back button or hit the back button up there. I usually just hit the back button down here. And then it comes back up to where we were a minute ago. Now, this one here, this is all you get. You get to either select that route or that route. Of course, this is going to be the one I take. Alright. Proceed to the highlighted route. And that is what you got. You can click on this. Ah, sorry. Click on this little tab here, and I'll show you your directions. Okay. Eh, it's not too bad. It's that's okay. You get your times, your uh, speed. You got your uh, mileage and your times to go. And you can also change this. Dang it. Oh no, I can't change it. I gotta do it back here. But down here, you can change your route display options. So you can do detailed view, highway view, trip summary, summary map view. All right. 
And then to see all your directions, you had to hit the button down, 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 down. All right. Now up here is where you change this. Sorry. You can do, you know, all these different times or informations that you want up there. I think on every single one, it always shows the mileage. So that's a good thing. All right. And here is your speed limit. One, well, the one thing I do like about Ram it now is it does show your current speed limit. And then, when it does have the speed limit for where you're going, which is a good bit of time, it shows it right above it. Here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and hit go, right? No. This one, if I want to edit my trip, I come up here and hit edit. Did I hit it? No. Alright, there we go. And this is what it comes to you to edit trip. Now, I can add a stop. I can say, oh, let's see, is there something along the way? Something along the way, huh? Let's just say I'm going to go to this place. So, I'm here in Kingsport. There's my uh, terminal. I'm going to go to Astro. All right. I'm going to go to Astro, uh, down to Fountain Inn, and then back up to Calpens. Calculate. And there you go. Oh! I must have hit something. My route. There we go. And kind of similar thing. It shows you, you know, your little spots, uh, your little flags on your destinations where you're going. And you can hit go or whatever. But I'm going to go back to edit trip. Because I don't want to go to this place. I'm just going to delete stop. And another thing about this is, actually, I'm going to go ahead and add stop. I don't care. Let's see here. Let's just put that in there. And as you can see, you can take this, and you can move it up there. You can take this, and you can move it down here. You can change it around. You can't do that with RAM it now. Alright, so, I'm going to go back to this one. I'm going to delete. Go back. Alright. Trip options. You can... Uh, clear your current trip and start all over or you can load trips And I'll tell you the biggest thing I like about this which uh, it's not in here since I did it last time I have to update it. But the biggest thing about that is on the trip options when you load a trip uh, Ram McNally You can't change it You can't get Ram McNally to go where you want it to go. So for when you have your directions and, or you already know where you want to go, but the GPS is trying to get you to go somewhere else. You just have to remember to make the turns where you're going to make them, write them down, or whatever it is you normally do. Whatever, that's fine. It's just a pain in the ass for me. Copilot, it's easy. I can drag the line to where I want it to go. Um, and it's no big deal. It takes about a second. Then, I can also, since I know that that's where it's going to put me in later on, I can save that trip. Once I get it to where I want it to go, I can go into that one section, and I can save that trip. And when I come back to it later, it'll be in here, which I had an issue with my tablet, so I had to start everything up, so everything's not back in here, so I have to do that. Trip options, and then save. You can save this trip to whatever you want to call it. You know, it's kind of like a favorite. What else we got? Fuel calls, optimize stops. And then right here, optimize fin final destination. So, there's your options for that. Can't do that with Ram and Nelly. Now, I want to go back to calculate route. So now, sorry, phone went off. So now, this does not take you where you want to go. And the alternates do not give you what you want to go. You know, I'm just giving you an example. You can say, say I want to make a change. Uh, yeah, say I want to make a change down here. I'm going to skip that in the middle, kind of zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to keep zooming in. All right. So it's got me going um, down 26. What is that? Is that 85? I think that's 85. 
That should be 85. No, that ain't 85. 85 is that way. What am I thinking? Okay. Yeah, I see. So basically, if I want to add the or alternate this, I'll just hit drag route. And I'm going to take this little line and drag it to right there. And you see how easy that was? Now, downfall is to see it, to make sure it is what you want to do. You got to zoom back in. Yeah, it's a pain, but you know, whatever. And now look, instead of it having me going from there to there, it's got me coming down here. And you can go over where you want to. Now, actually, in this place, this is one reason why I like to zoom in when I first do it, because it actually put me too far down right here. I wanted to go this way. So, I just have to go, this is the pain in the butt part about it, but it's still easier than Ram McNally. Alright, I'm going to go back down here, zoom in. Alright, and what I wanted to do is I wanted to take Instead of getting off on that one back road, 221, uh, to go to my terminal, I want to go all the way down 26 to 85, which is actually what I'd do anyway. So this would be perfect. And I'm going to zoom in one more time, just so I can try and get a little bit more detail. I'm going to do drag route. And now I'm going to bring this line down to here. And it says, up oh, right there, it says Pottery Road. I don't know if you can see it or not. So I'm going to move over just a little. Oh, there it is. I-26 and let off. And go down here. Make sure it's correct. And looky there. It has me getting from 26 to 85. Right? Is that right? Yep, that's right. Now it's got, it's got me going exactly the way I want to go. Ram McNally, to do that, you have to know like an address or something. So if I want to do that, I have to have to find an address of something right in that area and then put it in and put it in the middle. That's how you have to change it on Ram McNally. Yeah, I don't care for that. And since I don't rely on GPS and I have directions most of the time, that's why I like Copilot. So, right now, basically, it's a long video. I got... Two big things. One, Copilot has a lot more, or three big things, has a lot more uh, features and options, and you can customize it so many ways versus Ram McNally. Two, it's tried to screw me three times in a year and a half. Ram McNally, in five months, has tried to screw me five times, five, six, half a dozen, something like that. And no, it's actually at least a half a dozen. And how versatile you can change your route. I mean, the only thing you can do here is you can, while you're in route, choose destination, and you can put in an address or something, and like say if I want to go down to my tank wash, I hit tank wash, and then you can do add via. That's the only thing you can do on this to have multiple trips. Proceed to the highlighted route. You can't change it off of what you want it to, to go. I mean, where it wants to take you is where it's going to take you. You cannot change it. The only thing you do is hit detour down the way and detour it for however many miles or whatever. Alright, so that's my take on the routing. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clear these. Cancel route, cancel route. Actually, that there's already in route, so I'm actually going to go ahead and hit OK and go on this one. And I like having a 3D map and directions. So I got my directions here. The one thing about this is these are kind of small. You're driving and bouncing around. You can't read all the small stuff. But you can still read the big stuff and everything. Traffic. Here we go. You got a traffic bar right here. I have mine set to give me traffic for up to 100 miles. I don't know if you can, if I can focus on it and get where to show it. But it's 100. Right now it's saying 105 miles out. I am good. There is no traffic issues at all. Um, zero minute delay. All right. <laughs> now here's the thing. That I, uh, another thing I like about Copilot. 
Fam, now it's been set up with my Wi-Fi before, no problem. But every time you step away from, like if me, I have my Wi-Fi on my smartphone. <clears throat> so if I have my phone with me and I step out and go into the truck stop or something and come back, I have to turn it back on. So hit that. Then you go to Wi-Fi. Then you go to enable Wi-Fi. Da, 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 da. And a tablet, you know, like a computer, it stays on all the time. When it disconnects, it disconnects. When it comes, when you're back in range, it automatically connects, no problem. And you get this stupid little screen every flipping time. Close. And you get to select which hotspot you want. Now we're connected. Now I get to go back. Now I get to go to traffic source. And like I said earlier, I got traffic on both of them. Waste of money on Ram McNally. Traffic everywhere is all you got. It's either off or traffic everywhere. Traffic everywhere. All right. Now you got your flow and your incidences, and it's loading. So it shows you, you know, eh, some traffic issues. And here's the thing about it. Ram McNally only goes 30 miles around you. So a 30 mile radius around you is where it displays the traffic. Co-pilot, right now, it's at 100, uh, I got to set, the max is 100 miles out, and it's on your route. It's not 100 miles around you. It's 100 miles on your route. So, you get a little bit, uh, way bigger heads up and idea on what's going on before Ram McNally tells you anything. When you're over 30 miles. <clears throat> Now, again, it ain't perfect. Even co-pilots, traffic service, a lot of times will say there's traffic issues and there won't be any, and vice versa. There'll be traffic issues and it won't show it on co-pilot. It's not that often, most of the time it's right, but it happens. So, just like with using a GPS, you can't rely on it 100% for your routing, you gotta pay attention to everything. All right, so that was your traffic list, right? Yeah, so I'm going back to this. And that's pretty much all you get. Well, you got your weather and yada, 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 whatever. And go back. So now, all you get is this little box right here. Now, as you're traveling, you know, your routes, all it's going to do is show, like, green or yellow or red. That's it. Copilot does the same thing. It shows your route as being green, yellow, or red. But you also have this bar over here. That gives you an indication. Like down here is zero miles, and right here is 105 miles out. I don't know, I'm getting a call. Uh, it's my wife. Uh -oh. So you can see little lines or blocks, either going to be yellow, red, or black. And you can kind of guesstimate, you know, how far out this is, or about how far out, or you know, like say if it's right here. That's 100 miles. If it's right here, you're about a quarter away, so that's about 28 miles down the road. Then you're going to have an issue if it's right in this area. You know, gives you a heads up. Another thing about Copilot, Ram McNally, every time I've had an issue, um, Ram McNally, or whenever there's traffic issues, Ram McNally will not pop up an alert. All it does is your route lines change color, and that little box right there... Away. That little box right there changes colors. And then you click on it and get info. That's all you get. Copilot, you can have it set up different ways. I have mine set up for 10 minutes. Or no, I have it set up for 20 minutes. If there's a delay of more than 20 minutes, it will pop up stating um, traffic. Uh, 30 minutes has been added to your route time. And then it's safe. Based on your current route, uh, or based on current traffic conditions, your current route is still the fastest. Or, if there's an alternate route, it'll give you a choice to choose from an alternate route to get around it. Man, right now they don't do that. Copilot traffic service, uh, by doing that, it's messed me up one time. Because one time it put me on a side road, and then it ended up taking longer than the traffic took to clear through but if it's a real bad traffic area it saved my butt 
because all I did was go ahead and click that bottom button and accept the alternate uh, thing and it routes me as soon as I can get off the interstate or road or whatever I'm getting on the back roads or whatever and I'm getting around it. Ram McNally you just better know, hope you know where you're going or you can do the detour thing and guess about how far down it is. If you got a radio and you can hear other truckers which you can do this with co-pilots anyways you'll know how far out it is and you can kind of get direction from them if you don't know their area or follow them or whatever. But if you're not around any other truckers then yeah you ain't get no you ain't got no drivers around to give you any help you either got to pull over and look and see where you're at figure it out and hope it's the right way or a good way or just sit there in that traffic jam so there you go oh look i got a little delay popped up i got yellow that's uh let's see it maxes out 101 miles so that's probably what 80 miles 80 miles somewhere there is a traffic delay and again ram mcnally it's staying green because it only goes out 30 miles around you so i'm going to touch this traffic map now this changed on the last thing that i'm kind of disappointed about it don't show a whole lot on this traffic map anymore sometimes it just kind of show like what ram mcnally does it'll show like your route lines or like google maps does it just show like the the road colors but it used to show you um a list of like the traffic issues and what's going on so i don't know what's happened with that but that's evidently a bug in this last update on here and of course you can choose alternate route to get around it right here so there's another good thing about copilot um Let's see here. Oh yeah, your information box. You got two info bars. You got a right and a left. This is the one thing I hate about Copilot because you can't get anymore. You tap on that, you can get your distance, your ETA, your time remaining, speed, altitude, and heading. And you can do that on the right too. It don't matter. But those are your choices. So me personally, I would rather have instead of this whole list of directions over here, maybe like the next three directions, sort of like from here up being directions and then down here like little blocks that i can like put what i want like with the info i want in them that would be cool oh, da, 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 da. and i don't know i'm thinking that's about it so the only thing about it is i can't show you that pop-up i would love to be able to show you that pop-up and i wish there was something like right here close by that would show you so you can see what I'm talking about, but here's my Now this is the first time I've made a video, and I'm not really photogenic, but I just got tired of people talking about Rand McNally and Garmin, and whenever I try to bring up Copilot, people are talking all kinds of crap about it. Well, for you Rand McNally diehard fans, if you're trying to rely on that traffic service, I mean, if you got the CB again, you'll be alright. You can talk to other drivers and find out but again if you ain't got nobody around you you're on your own so you've got some options and eh, co-pilots got me out of a bind a couple of times so but that's my take and uh i mean first video and everything i hope it uh, helps everybody out again the tablet and the co-pilot software was about the same price as just a gps oh that reminds me the bugs of uh, Copilot and the issues. Um, Copilot, the maps, they're a little over two gigs. <clears throat> so you get a tablet, one, you don't want to get a cheap tablet. You want to get a decent quality tablet. Because you want to be able to process fast and, you know, not be able to lag and everything. Um, another thing, too, with uh, tablets and GPS or Copilot, um, Copilot, it tends